Hey y'all, Kate to the rescue here. Um, it's about midnight on a Saturday night and I pull into the 7-Eleven at 3... Hold on. 3704 Giles Road, Austin, Texas. And I see what I think is a dog and it turns out it's a raccoon that's walking around the parking lot, clearly injured. I asked the male employee who was outside smoking a cigarette how long the animal had been injured and walking around the parking lot. Um, and he said, oh, about a week. Um, so I proceeded to tell him that I was gonna call um, animal control and have them come pick up this animal. Uh, so I did that and animal control is on their way. In the meantime, I'm feeding him some wet dog food uh, in hopes to keep him staying put in one spot, even though he doesn't seem to really want to walk around. Um, but hopefully animal control will get here soon because this guy um, can, can barely walk. And when he does, he walks and he falls over. So he's in a lot of pain. There's a lot of foot traffic here. It's also a motorcycle rally right now. So my concern is the possible rabies. Uh, I can tell from experience that it is an injury to his hind quarters, but to see an animal, a wild animal like this around other people and also falling over really could be indicative of rabies. So it's very concerning to me that the store let this animal, be, this 7-Eleven store let this animal suffer for a week without doing anything. Um, so anyway, hopefully this guy will come and be rescued soon. Um, I'm just glad that I was here at the right, in the right spot at the right time to help get this baby some help. Uh, thanks y'all. Bye. Hey everybody. I apologize. It's a motorcycle rally in town this weekend. So Mr. Raccoon is on the move and I'm trying to keep him from going towards vehicles and trying to keep vehicles away from him. You can tell that he's extremely in extreme pain and I just kind of want him to chill because animal control will be here in 12 to 15 minutes buddy. So just hang tight. Hang tight my friend. Don't go down there. Just stay where you are. Animal control is coming. Just chill. Ah, ah crap. Just stay buddy. All right, I will update you as things change. Oh my God, I really hope that he just chills like that, takes a break. I just don't want a car to possibly hit him. Okay, just stay, buddy. Just stay, stay chill. Okay, just, just don't, don't hurt yourself. Okay, all right. Well, I guess going in this field is better than back in the parking lot where people are. Because people were curious about him, taking pictures and getting up close, and I was telling everybody to stay away. I just don't want him to be any more stressed out than he already is. So, I just pray that animal control gets here quickly. That was a car behind me lighting him up, so you got a better view of him. Hey bud, just stay put. It's obviously a struggle for him to even walk. So he takes some steps, hangs out for a bit, takes some steps, hangs out for a bit. I don't want to risk losing him, but I kind of want to go back and get that dog food to see if that'll keep him calm and focused on that for a minute. Oh, please animal control, get here soon. All right, I'm gonna see about getting that dog food and I will check in with you in a little bit. Food right there for you. Good job. Good job, buddy. Just just stay put and eat the dog food. Good, okay. Awesome. So in case you didn't know, I went and got the dog food and I brought it over. God, I don't know if you can see how close I am to this guy. Like, that's my hand, like. All right, that was the right call to get the dog food. I'm gonna go talk to this employee right quick because he's the one that told me you need to get 
get gone. Well, no, I can't leave the raccoon. He needs my protection. Watch out, buddy. There's a raccoon here. Watch out. Don't go. It's okay. You know what I want to do? I want to go get my car to block him in. I'll be back. We got Sheriff on the scene. Yay for help. <laughs> 